is um, when I think about Esther and you know I, the famous billionaires, Oprah. So, what is that money mindset that Esther has? That's obviously leading her to her success. What is that success mindset that you? I don't want to say you have to have, but that you have to have to manifest. It's, the, what is that? Like, what can you just give me a little, you know, a little taste? We can, Not we, that you haven't already. Like, we, we, more, more and more, right? We can explain it to you exactly. Whether it's money or anything else, it could be diamonds or rare birds. Doesn't matter what it is. Whatever is in your vortex is already done, and so you're finding a way to stop keeping it out is what the path of least resistance is for most humans it's like they've asked for something but then they've got this shield up that even though it's trying to get in they don't let it in because they've got a vibrational difference going on so let's go to the specific subjects of financial well-being we're not going to say that wanting prosperity is not part of getting prosperity because life calls for prosperity it is equivalent with freedom for you in the way you look at things today it makes things happen faster for you if you've got an idea and you can move instantly on that idea because you have the financial wherewithal to do it it's a speedier track but you don't need the financial wherewithal in order to accomplish it because there are endless ways to get what you're wanting to get so do some have desires for the wealth Yes, and many of them that have the desires for wealth and something happens in their experience that makes them believe it, then want it and believe it, and it is. That's always a tried and true way of looking at it. Want it and believe it, and it is. We said a couple of times already here today, you could not do a diagram of the contents of your vortex because you've done it over such a long period of time with different things going on in your life experience and it itself is evolving because of the attention of your inner being on it and the law of attraction gathering the cooperative components so the desire for wealth and success and mentoring and uplifting often they all meld together in a very powerful way it's really nice when a billionaire has an intention to soothe and uplift in some way and has the wherewithal to do it but you don't have to be the billionaire you don't need the but physical why not? <laughs> if it's something that you want it is certainly something that you can have mm -hmm. not everybody needs to be a billionaire but they could there are a lot of people that wouldn't let themselves because they've demonized it mm -hmm. And it's really interesting how many really lovely people who just turned into source became billionaires. And now they're demonized because they're misunderstood by people who are disconnected from their own resources. Mm -hmm. When you desire something and you aren't letting it in for all of the reasons that we've discussed here today, and someone else achieves it, you might not like them very much because they are causing an emphasis within you which sometimes translates into I don't like myself anymore then because I'm depriving myself of what I want but you can be or do or have anything and this conversation that we've had in these hours that we've been together today feels like weeks doesn't it do you realize how much vibrational territory you all have consumed in other words if you've absorbed a fraction of what we've all been emanating here together today your point of attraction has drastically evolved so I was just gonna wrap it up by saying since I was a dog on a bone with my point of attraction and used to feeling good when this as I've been transitioning into this activation of an awareness of a lack of money let's say because of a tax bill like activated me into this new state of awareness and I just like this weekend found relief because I wanted to reach for relief and soothing and fe a feeling better thought and finally it was either today or yesterday where I was working with my coach and and the thing that has just made me focus in a new way onto what I want is this the goodness of me I don't doubt that I don't I feel like there's no question in that. And now I'm tuning, what I felt questioning was, 
was where's my money going to come for the rest of my life? And so I tuning into that now has like fixed this. Well, maybe, but this is really what we want you to hear because it's just beyond what you just said. We're going to ask you some questions in a moment here and take your temperature of what your point of attraction is and you'll feel even better. But before we do that, can you feel how many roads you went down unnecessarily? Because you were trying to be the law of attraction. Just admit it. You were trying to be it. In other words, you were trying to manipulate yourself. Even when you're trying to manipulate yourself into being a cooperative component with something, you're still doing more managing than you are tending to your point of attraction. There's a much easier way of going about it. Can you feel what we're getting at? I have been feeling that this as I've been sitting here. That's why you felt more and more and more stress as you tried to figure it out more and more and more and more. Without meaning to, you went into justification mode about why it's okay for you to retire from that way of doing it and why it's okay. And you don't have to justify anything. You've already done the ask. The ask has already been answered. So we're just going to put a handful of questions to you just so that you can feel how far you have come. So do you accept that the law of attraction has, even before you knew it, been responding to your output. Yes. What does that mean? What is it that you have always wanted to achieve? We're just going to speak it to you simply. When you have a desire and a belief that match, then there's no resistance and things come easily. When your desire and your belief are the same, then it's happening. So if you choose a really hard desire that you don't believe, that's not tending to your point of attraction. If you choose a desire that you do believe, like if you know you can make $20 an hour, that's a desire and a belief that's easy for you to match up with. Take that in when desire and belief match. So what we are submitting to you here is the incredible benefit of focusing on desires that you do believe because when you focus on something that you already believe, there's no split energy. And now everything that you ask for can flow in on that. But humans, you don't make that easy because you think you got to earn it. You think you got to prove it. You're taking in how everybody else is feeling as they are looking at you. So it's a rare person that really is tending purely to their point of attraction because you're trying to factor so much in that you don't have control even of your own feelings about. So when you're not trying to manage your mind because you're not the stage manager Ooh, we know this sounds wonky but hang in here with us because it's a little tweaking that will make it all so much easier for you when you're not trying to manage your mind but you understand the complexity of it and that some things you're already perfectly calibrated on and some things you're not if you just let yourself be calibrated to your inner being, which means no resistance, that's why picking a simpler subject, something that you already know you're calibrated to. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next